violence, arson and vandalism continued in parts of India as resentment against the citizenship amendment law has deepened. Two civilians lost their lives in Mangaluru after protests against the law turned violent. A 49-year-old and a 23-year-old man lost their lives in gunfire after police officials retaliated. The police officials say that they were forced to open fire when some protesters tried to set a local police station on fire. Police claim that the very first Lati charge, the protesters, but when situation did not come under control, they opened fire and the injured were rushed to the hospital but could not be revived. One person has been killed in Lucknow after the protests became violent. Uttar Pradesh police has denied firing at the protester. In fact, the claim that they don't know if this death has anything to do with the ongoing agitation. के पास से फायर चल रहे थे कौन चला रहा था दरोगा जो इसे बोली जो मारी है वो दरोगा थे हम आप थे वहां पे नहीं हमारा दोस्त खुद कह रहा कि दरोगा को मेरा खुद देखा साथ में आ रहा था वो भी तो जब निकले गली से तो उनकी कमर में ये हाथ मत लाओ भाई यहां पे गोली लगी पहले मालूम चला कि छर्रा लगा है छर्रा लगा है बाद में पता चला कि गोली लगी है और कितने लोग आए थे उनकी डेट हुई है बस the official website of the Jamia University was hacked this Thursday evening and a message was posted on the official website that it was hacked by Dark Knight in support of the student protesters. The message also says, and I quote, Brave students of Jamia, keep fighting against the oppression. Don't let the movement die. Every time they hit you, rise up stronger. Now remember, violent clashes broke out on Sunday night after Delhi police allegedly entered the Jamia University without permission and beat up students. Curfew remains imposed in several cities to stop nationwide protests against the amended citizenship law. Thousands of protesters from Uttar Pradesh, parts of Karnataka and Delhi hit the streets despite curfew. Hundreds of protesters were taken into custody as they defied Section 144 in the national capital. The Delhi-Haryana border was also sealed to stop the entry of protesters who tried to make their way to the Red Fort. This has led to major traffic jam in the commercial hub of Gurugram. The telecom service providers like Airtel, Vodafone and Reliance Geo suspended internet, voice and messaging services for several hours in parts of national capital. The Assam government has informed that internet services in the state will only be restored by Friday morning. This comes despite Guwahati, uh, the Guwahati High Court's order to restore internet services in Assam by 5 p.m. this evening. Meanwhile, Delhi High Court has asked the centre and the Delhi police to respond to a plea seeking a fact-finding inquiry into the violence in Jamia University. But students have been denied any interim protection. This has invoked sharp reactions from students and lawyers who resorted to sloganeering in the High Court. <laughs> 